Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm doing a little repair on this carburetor uh, to the choke shaft and uh, choke lever, and I thought I would make a video on it. Might help somebody else uh, uh, have the same kind of problem. What we had was we had too much in play in this choke, and uh, so what I normally do is I take it apart. I find uh, a little uh, a brass sleeve or something that'll fit over it, maybe some moistures and uh, to take up the slack so uh, it doesn't go in and out so much. And so that's what I did. Um, I didn't uh, video taken apart, wish I had, but I didn't. And what I did here was, uh, when I started taking it apart, first thing I did was took my Dremel tool and ground off the, the uh, this ends of the screws here. They were mushroomed over. Don't be very careful with these. They're easily bent or broken or uh, especially the screws get broken in there uh, if you take your time they'll come out and that won't be a big deal get your dermal tool if you don't have it if you're going to work on this stuff you need to have the right tools anyhow so I did that got the screws out and I'm, I'm put a little washer on there kind of a little brass thing that I think will take up just about enough slack and uh, also when I took this off first thing I did I, I put a little mark right there and I put a little mark right there and so I can easily line it up when I put it back together. I also generally take a uh, uh, digital picture of these things so I know how it went. Um, so there's a couple of tips for you. So I slid it back in here. We'll uh, get our valve back in there. These things are really delicate, or should I say uh, not delicate, easily to mess up. I've done several. Now, um, I like to hold that down so it gets nice and centered. And let's see, before I put the screws in, see now it's not catch. What was happening in the end play uh, made it catch in one little spot. And, and so it would get it would bind like that and of course uh, uh, you know you need your choke to move as freely as possible you're going to have trouble with uh, uh, the choke uh, wire getting bent up and things like that but this feels really nice I think this can be a, a nice uh, clean repair uh, so I'm going to put the uh, uh, new choke screws in it and uh, I think I have a screw kit for these 1904s that include these but if not, I'm going to check and make sure that they do. Uh, anyway, uh, put some new screws in it. I put a little uh, Loctite on it, on the screws. I don't mushroom them over when I'm done. I, I just put Loctite tight on it. Be sure you do that. You don't want the screws to fall out into your engine at any point. Uh, I don't think I'll tell you what that would do. So hold your choke valve down, or any your throttle valve, whatever you happen to be working on. Uh, be sure it's centered. These little holes that screws go into, they get oblong sometimes from wear, and uh, this thing will move around, and, and again, it will bind. You want it to, 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 to work very free. So there we go, but we're not done. we got this little pin that goes in it, and let's see, which way did it go? This is another one. It's easy to mess up. Now what I did when I took the pin goes right in the middle. Here's one here. Uh, you can see the pin on it. And uh, what I did, I found me a, a socket to take up the slack. I put this socket in the uh, in the vise, and then hold that over it, and so that I can. Uh, force this out without banging on this. Okay? Well, I did that for the screws. That's right. For the screws. Uh, if you bang on these, if the screws... I'm, I'm sorry, I hope I don't get you mixed up here. Anyway, i got to think about this, but uh, I use a, a uh, impact screwdriver uh, because these were a little bit stuck even after I ground them out, and I want to make sure I didn't uh, break them off because then I, I'd have to drill and retap, and that's a real pain. So I put this in the in the uh, vise, and what that's going to do is going to give a little backing here so that I can uh, bang on it without bending the uh, uh, choke rod. 
yeah, which bends real easy. And the other thing I did was uh, I used it to uh, uh, pry down on this a little bit to start this pin so that comes out this way. And then I use went a deal like this and I carefully uh, twist it and move it around and, and um, you can ruin that real easy so just take your time uh, to get it out. So now I got to get it back in there. Okay. Get it started here. Again, we don't want to beat it to death. Okay, it's going to take a little work. Let's see if I can put a. I forget how I usually do this. If I do that again, I'm going to take it over in the vise, uh, put something under here to, to uh, 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 keep it from bending, and I'm going to tap this on down through so it ends up looking like this. Thank you for watching. Okay, I brought it back so you can finish the, see the finished result here. Uh, like I say, I, I, on this side I kept, uh, actually I used a screwdriver, kept tapping on it until I, I got it in there uh, just right. And uh, just right means that it's clear on both sides so that the, the choke doesn't, uh, or so that the choke comes up all the way. Anyhow, so there you go. No slack. And uh, anyhow, just a little tip for you that might help you out when you're working on your uh, Holly 1904. Appreciate you watching, and uh, you can find parts for this carburetor at mikescarburetor.com. Thank you.